Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to version 2 of CUDA Crash Course. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about pinned host memory. So generally when we're talking about GP programming, one of the key things we have to keep in mind um, is what is our end-to-end -end latency. So if it takes more time to allocate memory on the GPU, copy the data over, do the computation, and copy the data back, than it does to just do the entire computation on the CPU where we don't have to do this movement of you know, memory back and forth, you know, it's not going to be worth it to run the application on the GPU. So we have to keep this in mind. And one of the ways that we can speed up um, this or improve this into in latency is using this thing called pinned host memory. So from this NVIDIA article, um, just as a little bit of background, um, I'll go ahead and link this below as well. So host CPU data allocations are pageable by default. So in our original example of vector addition, we just use a vector and behind the scenes that will just handle our heap allocation for us. But we could also just use something like new, um, but both of these suffer the same problem, which is that these data allocations are pageable and the GPU can't directly access um, from pageable host memory. So what ends up happening um, is that we have to do a copy from this pageable memory into pinned memory before we can even transfer it over to the GPU. And the same thing goes with transferring it back to the uh, back to the CPU from the GPU when our computation is done. So this can cause some overhead. So one of the things that we can get around um, get around this with is by using CUDA malloc host. So let's go ahead and see a quick example and we'll go back into our original vector add code. So if we go into vector add.cu, here we've got a fairly large vector, so two to the 26 elements, and we're just relying on you know vector to do our dynamic allocations for us for our memory. So instead of using vectors, let's go ahead and just use pointers. But instead of you know allocating memory using new or malloc, we'll go ahead and uh, allocate it using um, the pinned memory. Um, so using CUDA malloc host. So this will allocate host memory for us. And that's pinned. So that way we don't have to go through this you know transfer to a pinned page before it goes onto the GPU or comes back from the GPU. So it looks a lot like just CUDA malloc. Um, a normal CUDA malloc does. We pass it the address of say a pointer or we pass it a double pointer and we pass it a size and bytes that we want to allocate. And then after that we just interface with it just like a normal integer. So nothing changes there. So we'll just go ahead and you know fill these you know arrays with some random numbers and then the rest of our code is exactly the same um, between the two. Right? They're both um, working on two to the 26 element vectors or two to the 26 element arrays that they're going to be added. Um, in this kernel called vector add, so they both do the exact same thing. The only difference is really um, how we allocate the data on the CPU. So let's go back to vector add and let's compile this. So we'll just do nvcc vector add and we'll just call the output um, vector add. And let's go ahead and profile it using nvprof. And with this, we'll go ahead and take a look at how long uh, the memory allocation um, or how long the data transfers take. So here we see the CUDA mem copy hosted device and device to host. So all in all, the hosted device took about 104 milliseconds or so, with about 50 milliseconds each way. And then the device to host took about the same, 54 milliseconds for a single transfer. So about 150, 160 milliseconds total for all of our data transfers back and forth. So let's go ahead and go back and let's uh, go ahead and compile the pin to memory version. So we'll do the exact same thing. Only thing we'll change is we'll change it to vector add pinned. Um, we'll go ahead and compile this and we'll profile it. So let's profile it in vprof vector add. This time the one using uh, CUDA malloc host instead of just you know whatever vector does with new um, or just calling new directly. And we see we can actually get a fairly large speed up on our data transfers. So now instead of taking about 100 milliseconds for both of our transfers or 50 you know, milliseconds away, now it's only taking about 26 milliseconds. And the same thing goes with our CUDA malloc device to host. Now it's only taking you know, 27 milliseconds to copy our data back instead of 54 milliseconds. And that's because we're not having to basically copy it into this, you know, this temporary buffer before it actually goes into our pageable host memory. So this is just one of the ways that we can improve end-to-end -end latency with our applications. There's a number of other ways that we can you know, help you know, improve uh, this kind of metric um, and we'll go into that in later videos, but that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. It's a quick way that you can say improve the performance of your GPU applications um, using pinned memory. So as always, all of these examples can be found at github.com slash coffee before arch. 
So if you go to CUDA programming and then you go to um, vector add, um, you'll see a pinned memory example here. And again, the only real big difference here is that we're just use, we're just going to be using pointers and those pointers will you'll know, go ahead and have allocations using CUDA malloc host, right? Instead of something like new or malloc. But that's going to do it for this video. As always, I'm Nick and I hope you have a nice day.